A huge week of postseason volleyball continuing tonight on the Illinois side of the river. They take center stage with regional titles on the line. Let's start in 3A. Rock Island looking for their second straight regional crown battling LaSalle Peru. Game one, Rock's down early, but coming back, Taylor Rice with the kill. Rock's cut the deficit to three. More from Rock Island. This time it's Quincy Bumgardner skying and slamming home the big kill. Rocks grab an 18-17 lead and the Rocks complete the comeback in game one. Sienna Macayo with the ace right here. Rock Island takes game one 26-24. Game two, more of the same from Rock Island. Lily DeRuder finds the open hardwood for the kill. Rocky down one, but the Rocks catch fire late in game two. They end it on a 6-2 run. Alexia Clark keeps the ball in. Rock Island sweeps and repeats as regional champs. Hold it up. This is actually my last year, so for them to come out, um, wanting this as bad as I do to finish off my season and the senior season, um, it's just been a really special feeling and a special journey along the way. Winning tears in a row with all the same girls and like they're in my graduating class, it's just a bond I will never forget. I mean, nothing can really describe it. Um, everybody coming and rushing on the floor, like, it just shows a lot. Like, having the same coach for two years and then this being her last year, like, we're going to try and give her that back-to-back -back regional when we did it. So happy that we won this for her. It feels great to know that we're sending her off with another regional championship. When we got finished, she said that this was the best present that she could have had. So uh, I feel like we can push even farther than that. Rock Island will look to keep their postseason run going against Metamore Monday night at 7 p.m. In 2A, Orion hosting Mercer County. Regional gold on the line. Game one, Golden Eagles came to play. Gabriella McPeak skies and slams home the kill. Mercer County up 19-12. Later in game one, it's Bradley Martinson with the back set. Molly Hoffman with the kill off the block. Mercer County takes game one, 25-18. Game two, all Orient. Laney Kunert. Finds Rachel Bowers for the big kill. Chargers up 23-10. Then on game point, it's Madeline, Madeline Nightingale painting the back line. Orion wins game two, 25-15. Game three we go. Home team takes command. Cooner again with another kill off the block. Orion on top, 22-17. Then on match point, it's Avery Nup. Winning the battle at the net. Chargers win game three, 25-17. Orion, your regional champs. They win this one two games to one. Yeah! It just, it's so amazing with all of our hard work this season and all of the work that we had in the gym. It just feels so good to come out with the regional championship. And we've been working, we haven't got one since 2019. And I, it's just, it feels amazing. I can't put it into words right now. Last year was kind of a rough season and we started off rocky this season. And when we pushed through and we've been doing really good middle of the season to now. Um, it just really proves that our hard work and practice is paying off. Oh, it means so much to us right now. Um, I've had this group of girls since they were in seventh and eighth grade, and this has been a dream for them um, all the way through. So this is huge for us. Orion will now battle Quincy Notre Dame at the Farmington sectional coming up on Monday at 6 p.m. Let's stay in 2A. Rivals Rock Ridge and Sherrard playing at Spring Valley Hall. Game one, Rockets jump out to a quick lead. Chloe Strahan serves up the ace. Rock Ridge in front, 6-1. The Rockets continue their strong play. Billy Dietrich slams home the point. Rock Ridge takes game one, 25-22. Game two, back and forth we go. Rock Ridge up a point. The nice back set to Hannah Rusk, to Tori Olfig. For the cross-court winner, it's 18-16. That's when the Tigers take over. Finishing the game on an 8-2 run, fueled by McKenna Blackwell. Sherrard wins it 25-22. To game three we go, Tigers take command. A nice set to Eva Zimmerman for the hammer. Sherrard out to an 11-6 lead. More firepower from Sherrard. Caitlin DeBlock has permission to take off. Tigers up 12-7. Facing match point, Sherrard continues to swing away. It's DeBlock throwing this one down. It won't be returned. Sherrard wins two games to one, taking the regional title for the first time since 2010. Fantastic. We worked so hard. We worked so hard. The last Mitten has worked so hard for the last four years, and it's so nice to finally just give this to her and to give it to all of us. It really means a lot. Once we like uh, uh, had our intensity and we had all of the energy there, everyone's minds were like set in. 
then we really pushed and we can dominate. It just clicked. It was a serve receive. Rockridge is always an outstanding team. They always have great serves. They, they made a decision to play better. They made a decision to work together. It just clicked and that it worked. Sherrard heads to Farmington on Monday night where they will face Macomb in semifinal action. 1A Regional Championship in Anawan. The Bravettes come out on fire against the Ridge. Bella Van Opdorf sets up with Kaylee Silas for the kill in an early lead. Soon after, it's Silas continuing to dominate the front row. Anawan with a 6-0 start, but River Ridge gets cooking. Sadie Fry splits two defenders right here for the big kill. Later, it's Lakin Haas with the back set to Addison Albrecht, an amazing player, tying things up at nine. The Brave Vets get busy. Silas to Tyra Jones for the kill. The Wildcats absolutely catch fire and the incredible play of Albrecht. She gets help from Gwen Miller with the hammer. Miller later sets Fry, who registers the game one winning point. 25-21 pass. River Ridge rolling in the second set with more fine play. Miller to Albrecht once again. Miller to Albrecht one more time. You get the message. She was unstoppable at times. River Ridge pulls off the sweep. They take the regional goal that's been a long time coming for an emotional Wildcat squad. And I have a regional banner in our gym for 31 years. It's pretty special. We've come so far as a team. It's just so surreal. I can't even put into words. We really pulled through in a mental game. And that's one of our biggest challenges is always making sure that we're mentally strong. So this was a huge thing for us. We've been um, really flexible this year with our rotation because we've been fighting injury upon injury. So we haven't had a successful regular season as we wanted to. So we're back and somewhat healthy. So we're hoping to go on a long run. The Wildcats will play Ottawa Marquette on Monday at the Forston sectional in semifinal play. More scores in 4A, Moline sweeps Manuka for a regional championship. In 3A, Galesburg falls to Dixon. In 2A, Rock Falls sweeps their way to regional gold. Monmouth Roseville season comes to an end. In 1A, Galena completes the comeback against Lita Winslow. Newman best Fulton in three games. Also, Weathersfield a winner tonight as well. That's it for sports. We'll be right back.